What happens if you take a cold shower every day? The heart rate is going to go down with 20, 30 beats a minute, 24 hours a day. That means stress is gone. And can we start about your morning routines? How does your morning routine look like? Yeah, opening the eyes and I begin with a good deep breath. And then very soon later, I'll take a cold shower. How long? Uh, 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 something, uh, until Four I feel hours. good. Four hours? <laughs> no, 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 it's too much time. Uh, uh, you know, uh, if you take a couple of minutes and you make sure all the body adapts to the cold, because, you know, you are very warm. You're warm like a hot dog. Right. In the, when you wake up, you know, nice and easy, like a, a marmot, like a lemming. <laughs> the cold, the cold. No, I go directly straight to the cold and, and, and get the biggest of reactions on my body. And within 30 seconds or something, uh, I'm completely not feeling the cold anymore. And then uh, two minutes later, I just finish it. It's okay. Uh, uh, does it need uh, uh, anymore? Well, what the importance of that in the morning is that you wake up your vascular system and your vascular system is like two and a half times the world around in the length of the veins arteries and capillaries everybody has it and it contains uh, millions of little muscles and they are trained if you go in and adapt to a cold shower a day and that, uh, and that way, your vascular system is optimized, and then your heart doesn't need to pump so much, because all these millions of little muscles, they help the blood flow go through. And they work with each other. Yes. It's one closed system, and, uh, and the originator is the heart. What happens if you take a cold shower every day? The heart rate is going to go down with 20, 30 beats a minute, 24 hours a day. That means stress is gone. This is what we do. It's a hormetic exercising. Hormetic stress exercising is a cold shower. Cold shower a day keeps the doctor away. What happens more is that the blood flow runs much better through the system. Mm. The nutrients, vitamins, and minerals, and oxygen, they get better to the cells. So oh, nice. it produces more energy. That's why everybody feels so energized directly after the cold shower. Because the system is getting better into feeding all the cells of ours, which makes up molecules, which is energy. You feel more energy. And and how, how long time do you recommend? Like, is it one minute, like to, two minutes? To, yeah. or you begin with 30 every seconds. Yeah. I, I say to the people, uh, uh, just begin, uh, take your hot shower. And uh, I love hot showers too. So I, I take Should warm start shower, with the shower, hot, hot, shower. hot shower, showers or after. Yeah, but uh, no, not me. Now, uh, because uh, my vascular system is really trained, I just take the cold shower. And when I take my ice bath, which is even more colder, then uh, afterwards, uh, and I go for, uh, 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 I recommend two minutes, but then uh, in very soon you are able to go five minutes. And today, you and uh, me, Alexander, we go for 10 minutes. That's awesome. Because we're gonna <laughs> set our mind. Right, and in the, the ice bath. Uh, the power of the mind is amazing. This is what I've been showing in the last study, to be able to make my skin temperature not going down while ice water gets on the skin just by using the mind. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. And that means we are able to make stress go away just by using our mind. And this is the result after so much training and exposing myself into, into the cold that I've learned to awaken direct connections in the brain that enables me, just by thought, to make the difference in my body whenever there is stress. And that stress could be emotional, physical, bacterial, virus stress, 
uh, mental stress, daily stress, stress and congestions, stress that you cannot shit mm -hmm. well, <laughs> whatever, you know, stress is stress. And uh, you are able just by using your mind to deal with that type or any type of stress. Mm. That, that is the message. And um, what is the negative effects from stress? The, uh, oxidative, you got oxidative stress and hormetic stress. Oxidative stress is negative. Uh, uh, that means that things you cannot handle and they get into the cell mechanisms and they uh, have an absolute negative uh, influence on uh, the cell uh, mechanisms and the mechanics and the telomeres, the longevity, the cell division, the, the DNA. And it uh, produces wrong genome expressions, which mm. makes you sick or even cancer in the end. So it all depends. Uh, stress is like an attack on our healthy mechanisms. And if we learn how to deal with stress, we, uh, the, the healthy mechanisms stay healthy. That's the whole trick. And this is what we do right now with, in San Francisco with 140 people, with uh, top uh, researchers on the DNA to show how to protect the cell uh, by uh, exercising uh, the, the cold showers and the breathing exercises. Uh, exercises, they are into positive stress activation, which is hormetic stress. And uh, uh, that makes the cell uh, uh, protected by uh, 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 proteins around the cell like little guards like little warriors who fend off viruses, bacteria, inflammation, and oxidative stress. So then the cell remains intact and the healthy uh, uh, production of the uh, me mechanics of the cell, they are able to flourish and to keep on going. It's amazing what we found. Yeah, it's amazing and that's also what you did with uh, the, the deadly bacterial E. coli. Yeah. And that is so crazy. Yeah. That you inject E. coli in your bloodstream. Yes. Can you tell uh, oh, yes. us a little bit uh, so, about this? Uh, <clears throat> because of me doing a, a study, and I will show you the study, the first study, I, sh uh, I was staying like 80 minutes in uh, ice up till here, and I showed uh, they took blood, like 36 of tubes out of my arm. While I was 80 minutes up till here, up till my neck in ice. And my core body temperature remained 37 degrees, 80 minutes long. And then they took the blood, and the blood, they injected E. coli ex vivo. So I was not there, but my blood was there. And normally you have a very violent reaction uh, of the immune cells on the E. coli bacteria injected in the blood serum. And now there was zero reaction. They never had seen that. And then they said, can you do this That's alive? crazy. Yes. Can you do this when we inject you directly <laughs> uh, in your uh, veins? I said, yeah, hey, let's try it on. I think so. <laughs> let's so, try that. Let's what is the it. worst that can happen? I die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ah, they get a little sick uh, or heavily sick, but only for six hours. But I did not become sick. I did my breathing techniques. I mm -hmm. used my mind mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. I did not become sick. I felt great and they saw that I was influencing directly at conscious will the autonomic nervous system. Thought of inacce uh, inaccessible in uh, medical scientific literature that humans are able to do that. And I was uh, mm -hmm. showing the contrary. So with that, mm -hmm. uh, they said, yeah, uh, but you are the Iceman. You are a special. You are different. You are a, a freak of nature. And <laughs> this is, with normal people, not possible. And then I told them, yeah. yes, give me people for 10 days, and mm. I will make them able what science is saying that is not possible with the human physiology at will. I will make them able at will to influence so deep within their bodies and uh, with that, we will change medical literature as it is. And they said, okay, finally, they said, yes, let's do it. And we did a comparative study with 18 people there who did not train with me. 
and 18 people who I trained. 12 of them were randomly chosen to uh, take part of the injection of the E. coli bacteria. And all of them, non-trained and trained. The non-trained people, they uh, became all sick, mm -hmm. and the trained people, after four, only four days of training, they did not became sick. And uh, uh, then they saw 16,134 people who had been exposed to the same experiment mm. all became sick. And then suddenly 12 people did 100% score in one comparative study uh, showed not to become sick. 100% score. So, But it is, is, this is only for that you train them for four days with the breathing technique, the focus, and also the cold. Yes, exactly. And Into what did you do with them? Uh, I, what I do always with people is to go to the mountains. I have a, a house in Poland, somewhere at the mountain slopes. And uh, I trained the people over there every day, uh, uh, inside and outside, in the snow, barefoot, in shorts, going to the waterfall and uh, slowly but surely in four days climb a mountain in shorts for five hours in freezing temperatures and have a great time. Then uh, when we arrived uh, on the top of the mountain, I knew these guys are ready. Let it come. Let the injection come of the bacteria. They will show the difference. And four days later, they were in the hospital, got the injection, and they mm. showed, turned around scientific lit uh, literature as it is. We are able to do so much more than has been uh, believed by science and scientific community. And we have to bring this to the people. 